So my name is Kyle Loya. Uh, me and my team are actually all students at a school locally in Seattle called Academy of Interactive Entertainment. Uh, they're a short nonprofit two-year school that's specifically for game development, game programming, and game art and VFX. Uh, the game we're trying to make is supposed to be almost like a decision-based one. So it's supposed to be like you're faced between two decisions, like big, like one, just an example one, do you want private prison or public prison in your state or county? And by doing that, you're either going to have negative effects on your population to where the people around you hate you, or you're going to lose all your money. And essentially, the goal is to get reelected again. So if everyone around you hates you, you can't get reelected, and there might be riots or some people just going crazy because they don't like your political choices. The other one is if you have no money, you can't get reelected because you just bankrupt your city. So you have to try and ride a fine line between the two decisions in order to make it to the end and get reelected. Can you tell me a little bit about your team and what people do and also what you do on the game? Um, yeah, so we kind of had a mix of a lot of people. We have around five of us are programmers from our school, two of us are in the art department, and a third guy is in the art department, but he's been handling most of our sound as well as we've been able to lean on some of the writers and stuff here, which is nice because a lot of my other game jams haven't had that option. Uh, personally, I have seems to have taken the lead of almost like production and the design around it as well as just someone needs something I try and help them as best as I can but there is a lot more like people heavily on art heavily on programming than me I've just been kind of everywhere to cool. least cool and you talked about every person on your team like oh so what they each do yeah if you okay. would mind yeah yeah no so Aaron has kind of been our lead programmer on that he's trying to get everything running and He's helped make the UI, make touch work. We're trying to do on a little Android phone, which is a whole new department for us because we're still pretty new to Unity. So we just figured, you know, go balls to the wall. And then uh, Sean has helped me as well with the uh, kind of checks and balances to see if our economy and gameplay feels right, if our decisions are actually tough decisions and you can't just win or lose very easily. Uh, Raphael has been helping Aaron a lot on main programming, he made some randomly generated stuff, and those two have really just kind of been a team on having the game really feel nice and flow. And then uh, Kiana has been an artist for, we're going to have a secretary in our game, so she's kind of making a lot of those assets, so in particular her, she's been working to make her look really good. And then Jesse has made our environment, our, uh, our paper, a lot of the almost like game assets inside of it. And then Lucas has helped us with our sound. And then there's been a couple writers who have helped us as well. Very cool. Now, what do you think about this game jam having the theme of social justice, empowering people with the knowledge of the law? Yeah, so the first time we thought of it, it was uh, a little bit weird to think of, considering the last one we did, it was almost free reign. But we figured we'd do it, be good practice and stuff. But like once you actually come in and start thinking, about products that you could use for social justice. It actually became really interesting because there's a whole lot you could do with it. That's like all of us, we had no idea what we were gonna do, but we all kind of took our heads together to do this one game concept that we all seem to really enjoy, as well as seeing everybody else has a lot of cool concept that way. So it's a good way to like mix all of the above together and to create something cool out of it. Nice. How has this game jam been versus the game jam uh, participated in the past? Well, this one has been great because they have food and drinks and everything for us. That has not happened before. As well as the chairs are comfy, there's a lot of room. So it's been a lot more spacious and more comfortable. And uh, yeah, there's materials provided for you, like pizza and everything, as well as living at Peter Museum is pretty cool. If you're on a break, just go see all the old equipment, like all the old VR stuff and stuff like that. Um, what has been, it, what has been like a really, interesting or novel thing that has happened just trying to work with, like with this social justice thing for you? Um, kind of thinking how it affects everyone. Like so in our game, you're supposed to be like a government official trying to plan how you want to make these choices. So trying to make those choices actually uh, difficult and like kind of relate to people. Like if you're going to do like, you know, give the homeless people clothing or feed families, like really trying to make the player think about issues that are in real life today or like build a wall or, you know, mass deportation. So a lot of issues that way.
Thanks. So it sounds like your primary objective is to educate people on today's current issues by giving them kind of like current event style things yes. that they have to deal with. Yes. Cool. Um, what do you hope, I guess, to teach, I mean, let's see. Who do you hope to target with this game? Is it going to be Android users or, I mean, like, is there a certain demographic you're going after? Um, no, we just kind of did Android just for fun because we've never touched it. Uh, we saw people play it. We've, we're all first years at our school. We've only done, attended a couple game jams. We're here to learn. So we just wanted to see what we could create and learn from it. So we just wanted to make a game. Nice. Is there any uh, last comments or like things that, you know, have stuck out to you about this game, Jen, that I haven't asked about? Um, it's a lot more professional than a lot of other game gems have been, that I've been into the past. A lot of ones have been like a lot of students and stuff where people here have been like in the industry and a lot of people like you have, you have, you have writers, right? That write all day and you have lawyers. That's an aspect that you never see in other game gems. Cool. Well, thank you very much for your time, Kyle. No worries.